As you could expect, when you buy a brand new boat, for the last week we've had like 30 knot winds, horrible conditions, and I can't take it anymore. So today was the day for the first maiden voyage. As you can see on the windscreen, bit of precipitation this morning. It's dark. Raining. But we're just doing it. The wind's a little bit lighter, we're just gonna stay in close and just wanted to give you the reveal of the new boat. Um, super exciting for me, it's pretty bare bones still. We've only put the sounder in. What's what's happened? Boats. The factory tray is too small for your new batteries. So we're going to be doing some modifications. 1.5 centimetres too small. <laughs> and now there's nine screws to come out. <laughs> and it's Deep. <laughs> We're still waiting on a bunch of stuff to arrive to install to make this boat the ultimate dream boat for me, I guess. But um, hopefully the rain stays away for a little bit and we can fang around. Matt's brought a fishing rod, cameraman holding the camera right now. Black tuna ready. Over <laughs> the years in Matt's boat, he's very anal with the cleaning of the boat and Brooksy tends to make a bit of a mess, so Matt's threatened me with if he catches a Mac Turner, he's gonna hold it like a machine gun, and it's gonna be spitting blood all over me brand new boat and me nice clean white deck. It's the season for it too, they're out there. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we know they're out there. All right, let's just do it, eh? Let's get it then. Lots to learn with the new boat, how deep to back the trailer in so it comes off the bunks, all that kind of stuff. So it's all a little work in progress. We got her off nicely, we're floating. And the engine works, which is very nice. Very exciting moment for the Brooks. I've never owned a new boat before, so pretty happy. Welcome aboard. <laughs> I've made it. Jeez, it feels nice just steering. Oh, heaps of room, isn't it? My initial feel is it's going to be so different now than with trim tabs. Oh, and electric weight on the front. Yeah. All the rest of it. White little props for Brooks. Drone Lords. Yeah, get him. Get him coming in. I'm filming, eh? Yeah. Good start, first yeah, run. Yeah, yeah. How are you, mate? How are you doing? What's going on? Jeremy, Craig Fisheries. What's that, sorry? Jeremy, Craig Fisheries, just do a quick inspection. No dramas. How long are you going to be, mate? Why? Um, we're just filming at the moment, so I've just got a drone up. About two minutes. Any fish on board? No. no. None? First run in the new boat. Is it? Who's yeah. Boat? What's that? Who's boat? My boat. Your boat? What was your name, man? Uh, Jonathan Brooks. Is you going to run out? Oh, it should have. <laughs> <laughs> Make 
good video if it does. It'll make for a f expensive video if it does. Yeah. Hey, you have two life jackets on board? Yeah, mate. Yeah, I'll just uh, have a look at them then. Yeah, one sec. <laughs> Lucky I remembered to chuck them in this morning. Hey? Lucky I remembered to chuck them in. And no fish on board at all? Nah, man. Nah. nah. Alright, any questions? Last one we're here? All good, mate. Too easy. All good. It's all registered. It should be, yeah. <laughs> I hope they f did it. Too easy, have a good one. Thanks, boys. Take it easy. Have a good Christmas. Yeah, yeah you too. Way. Merry Christmas. Yeah, go away. Chase Matt, <laughs> don't up. chase it. There's a giant seagull trying to eat my drone. Alright, so obviously, as you've seen, this Matthew's brilliant drone flying, eagle attack, fisheries attack. Um, I bought a 19 foot sportsman. Oh, no. Matt. Hold on. Matt. It's going to be real noisy. I bought a 19 foot sportsman. I had a look, and in my time, I've been in a lot of different boats, a lot of people's different boats. I've, you have, hey. I have. And like, I've, I've yeah. had like four different sponsor boats yeah. over my time and they've been all manner of things and I've got to experience a lot of different things. So I knew what I wanted and I knew what I didn't want. And I had a few companies approach me and the boats just weren't for me. They weren't right for what I wanted to do and the different things I wanted to do. And this was the only one that really covered all bases where I could go to the islands GT fishing. I could go on the flats and fish for weird things. I could even go to the reef which is something i haven't been able to do with the previous boat with the e-bomb on it because it scared the living daylights out of me this for me was the best option and i'm stoked with it it looks they look incredible obviously and i've been in one before it was buster's old one and i had a 115 on the back and it was underpowered it was real sluggish and i wasn't too sure about it but now with the 150 on the back this is my new boat very exciting. What do you think, Matt? I would be very... Oh, I've been in the same. I've been in a lot of boats before, mm. and I'd be honest with you, and I'm jealous. Like, there's certain things I can't do in my big boat, which this is going to do, and it can do the things I can do. So, mm. honestly, I think it's it's going to be interesting to see the... Uh, not the longevity, it's just, like, the capabilities, yeah. which I think it's huge, especially, like, you know, fuel tank's good, 150's good, open... I can, you know, I think it's perfect. I, I look at what I can't do and this is going to do it as well as what I can mm. do. So, I think you've nailed it. Thanks, Matthew. That's the biggest thing here is versatility. We've got yeah. so many options with fishing like the dam, the river, the flats, the islands and the reef. And just filming too. I mean, I get I get heckled all the time to do more river stuff and more yeah. coastline stuff and I can't. Yeah. So, like, for filming where we live and what we do, you nailed it. So, yeah, well, I have, just to clarify, I have no sponsorship affiliation with Sportsman um, whatsoever. I bought this boat, came boat motor trailer, ready to roll. And like I said before, all we've done so far is we've put the sounder in, my 16 inch Apex Hummingbird, but we got a lot of stuff to put in. We got trim tabs coming. We got ocean LEDs coming. We've got a brand new through hull transducer flooring obviously i got a really epic electric motor bracket that you'll see in the next video that's got to go on brand new mincota 72 inch shaft so it's not cavitating there's all kinds of stuff that's going to go into this boat and we're going to make it as good as it can be so it's bloody exciting i'm very excited new boat brooksy and even like i picked it up driving away from where i picked it up from from reef marine thanks to the guys at reef marine for helping out um regoing it and detailing it and all that kind of stuff before i picked it up i drove away and i was like wow this is what it feels like to tow a boat on a good trailer and your own boat my own boat on yeah. a good trailer that last trailer had do yourselves a favor don't ever buy a swift co trailer that thing was terrible it actually did damage the boat but now it's on a savage trailer it's men and like I said, I don't have any affiliation with the guys, sportsmen, in terms of business stuff whatsoever. But I did deal with Tracy and Cam a lot in this process of buying the boat. And they've both been amazing. There's no bullshit. 
they were really cool to deal with and really likable people so if anything that's kind of what also got me over the line with was just dealing with them and how how good they were to deal with but yeah we can crap on for for ages but we're gonna go for a cruise we've got a bit of a stormsy incoming but matt brought a rod so we might as well try and catch a fish and get some blood on the floor Sprazy. Oh, I actually saw a smack tuna bust up just up there, so we could be on. One of the oh, oh. oh. <laughs> micros. <laughs> One of the interesting things with this, and I, I know there's going to be heaps of people in the comments saying this. Boat opinions <laughs> are like assholes. Everyone's got one, and this is for me. This was the best option for me, and what my um, experience in boats has been and this is what i wanted so if you're of a different opinion that's totally fine and i don't really care but um for me and i'm going to be, give you his honest feedback on this like even i think that's the cool part man is is you know you don't have to worry about hurting people's feelings oh yeah be honest and i don't have it. to talk shit like because they, they gave me a free boat i've gone and bought it so the the first i guess impressions are We've got a little bit of leftover swell here. There's not much wind, but it is kind of choppy. I always knew it was going to be a bit flappy without the trim tabs on it because there's no weight up the front at the moment. Everything's in the back. But with trim tabs, that'll be sorted. And the, I guess the common conception of sportsmen is there's no storage. That's the feedback I've got from people. And that's that was my thought as well. So... If you have a look, we got this big hatch here, we got anchor well there. And then there's pretty that's pretty much it. There's a bugger all in the console. That's at the back. There's two hatches at the back there. One's a live well, but they're they're quite deep. But for me, I need somewhere to put these. My esky's gonna go here, but we've got tackle boxes, camera boxes, we're gonna have swags, we're gonna have all kinds of stuff. So what I'm gonna do on this is I'm gonna bring this deck back to here. And then we can sleep up the front. This will be one big hatch where we can store everything that we need and it's out of the way and we can just go fishing. So it's a work in progress. We're going to run you through it as we go. But for now, that's enough shit talking. Let's just go and get wet in the rain. I reckon it might give you... Oh, maybe not. It's looking way. pretty ominous, man. It looks real bad in footage too. Like when you look at the screen, it looks black. Especially if Brooksy turns the contrast up. Yeah. Oh, well, let's go. The rain's set in. So we didn't go fishing, we just came straight in, but next fun bit, put it on the trailer for the first time. Wish me luck, no crash, no scratch on the hull, Brooksy. Good? Yeah. Decky, eh? I've done that it. No hat. Yeah, mate. Give us a look. It's happening soon, hey? Big things coming for the boys next year. Have a go at her. Big, safe, 150 grey boy on the back. <clears throat> Trailers mint. Jewel axle for Brooks. And yeah, that's her. Very happy man. You know what's crazy? It like still smells of new fiberglass and resin. Very nice. Obviously, as we go a little bit further, we're going to show you uh, the in-store putting in all this new stuff. But for now, that's kind of it. First run, successful, floats, engine works, moves forward, stable. It's going to be a fish catching machine and this thing's going to... Now we've got to wash it. It's going to see a bit, this. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? 
Maybe we should have a little competition in the comments here who can come up with a name because it doesn't have a name yet. I didn't like the penetrator would obviously be, be good. Stuff like that, but let's see. Maybe you can come up with something good. Yeah, if you got any questions, if you're looking to buy one yourself, fire them at me and I'll be able to give you an honest feedback. But yeah, that's about it. Till then, see this. New merch is up. We got t shirts, fishing jerseys like this, and hats, which I actually don't have on right now. But I'll put a link to, in the description below where you can get them. Um, do you want a link to the, your new hats in the description or they're not up yet? No, nah, it's all still very fresh. Very First fresh. Day. That's new hats are coming. What's going on this afternoon, Matthew? We've had the boat run this morning, big we clean. Have. And now I actually sent a message to Telby this morning and it was like, <clears throat> you know, one of those messages where you hope it actually goes your way and Telby's message back and gone, I've actually caught like 10 crabs. 14. Yeah, four, 14 to be 14. Exact. 14, <laughs> who's counting though? It's pretty mint, Talbot, and Talby's invited us around the Savi for mud crab and beers. This, we're two days before Christmas. Yep. And it's finally happened. So you want to give us a little yeah, walk? Come in. A little walk through. Take a tour. I'm not going to mention who the current ping pong champion is. Yeah, that's because you've only played one person. <laughs> well, do you want to take on the champ? So I've got the, the, ping, the ping pong table arena. <laughs> yeah, so my boat's. Um, Nine and a half meters on the trailer. Yeah. And I've still got about at least half a meter space. So you can fit 10 meters in here. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Mantle. Yeah, it's pretty good, A eh? Couple of familiar looking stickies. You guys watching would remember a few of these stickies and poppers here from back in the day. This, uh, this is basically for all your fishing gear, your tackle. There's some storage underneath down here, all your tackle trays, whatever. I'm going to get a line spooling machine here so you can at least re-spool your lines mm. and things like that. Yeah. I think there's going to be an unwritten law with everyone that if you do come and stay here, you can happily ask us and we'll help you out with areas. Tell, I was just talking to Talby about putting some colour-coded areas for trout and nannies and reds, but if you do stay here and you let us know you're staying here, the boys will hook you up. Matt reckons he's going to direct everyone straight to the green zone and <laughs> pink zone. <laughs> um, you, you're a natural at this table. <laughs> oh, Come that's, on in. That, that's a back door. Basically goes out to the outdoor clothesline. That's all that's out there. So. We'll have a little look out there in a minute because it's right. pretty sick out there, I reckon. This is more of a bar than a kitchen, but we've got induction fry pans, uh, deep fryers, Ooh. everything you need to cook up here when you want to cook up, mm. but it's not fully set up with an oven or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. But we've got a brand new barbecue outside as well, so... Dishwasher. Dishwasher. It's got a dishwasher. Does Bowley come with it? Oh, Thanks so much price. Price. Extra. <laughs> Big hourly rate, eh? <laughs> You'd be free after a few of those whiskeys, I reckon. <laughs> Chill zone. Big tally. What's up here? Two bedrooms. Um, sleeps. Sleep five people basically, two couples and an extra bed for another kid or person. Got a couple of spare little mattresses for kids or whatever yeah. if need be. They're out at the moment from someone else that was up here the other day. And very important in this part of the world. Air conditioning. Yep. It's freezing in here, man. Yes. One thing I want to just point out while we're up here, Talbot, in this zone. See this out here? This is why it's good. Big, easy boat parking, many boats, doesn't matter. Yeah. It's mint, man. And look at that mangy out there. That needs to be he's picked. Right. He's right for the picking, that one. Basically, if you want to come and stay in this mint zone that Talbot's put his bloody blood, sweat and tears into for the last few months. That's exactly what's going into it. All, all, all three of those. It has, eh? Yeah. I'll put the link in the description below. It'll take you straight to the Fisherman's Den Instagram page and then what do they do? Uh, it's got a website on there and you can just go onto that and do all the booking. It'll give you the prices and everything. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to go onto Airbnb in a few more months, I'd say. But yeah, yeah at the moment, it's just on there. We're only just starting off the business. So we'll see how we go. Hopefully, hopefully people book and... Well, that's, that's the big thing, man. We always talk about helping out small businesses on here and people get behind it. So Talby's just, this is fresh, man. He's had one group of people stay here. Yep. Ever. Just, just the other day. And then I've got another group this week and then it's a bit 
slow, but it's the time of year as well, you know, it's a bit tough yeah. coming into Christmas. So. It'll but come. Hopefully, yeah, I think give it 12 months and it'll be a good little thing. Yeah. We it's... plan on uh, putting a wash down bay and a fish cleaning station out there, but at the moment we've run out of money, so we're just having what we've got here and then we're going to add on as we go. It's big expansion. Time. There'll be one out there in that field this time next year. Yeah. We plan on putting a pool out the back. That'll be mint. Um, a big deck and a pool and a barbecue area, but that's that's all to come. So it'll come. Yeah, everyone just add on as we go. So, so the main thing here is if you're coming to this neck of the woods with Sundays, Early Beach. I try never to say where we are, but um, I'm sure a lot of you already know. But if you're coming here, look them up. Come and stay here. Beats staying in a caravan park, all that kind of stuff. You got your own zone here, and it's super nice as well. So get around it. Chili yeah. mud crab. Chili mud crab. Let's, let's do it. go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Looking forward to this. How's the claws on them, eh? Delicious. Uh, about a year, same about time. Year. Yeah. Not bad. Pretty good day. Give us a look at your hands. <laughs> I've actually cleaned them up a bit. That's, that's post wipe. Bengals. Oh, yeah, man. Whole oh, hand, man. Whole oh, hand. I haven't even, like, I haven't done a video in so long with the whole boat saga going on. The Ocean Blue guys had to sell the Edgewater. Um, so I haven't been fishing basically for two months. So that's why the lack of videos. But since the last video I've done, a fair bit's happened. And I wanted to say a massive thank you to you guys because, see that? We won the comp. In the last video, I asked you guys for support and to go and vote for myself and Matt in the Top Water Invitational, and you did, and we won. So that's the whole reason I was really able to afford to buy this new boat, um, is because of you guys. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, it's a pretty cool thing. To win in a public vote is um, pretty special. So big domination, and um, it's a pretty cool feeling. So. Thanks very much. Um, fingers crossed we get a chance to go fishing soon. The weather comes good and all this stuff arrives and we can get it all on the boat and get it all smick ultimate fishing weapon. Let me know what you think of the boat anyway. And yeah, I'll leave us with that. Thank you so much.